This is Gigi from Gigi's channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to make a spirometer chart in Excel 2013. Or other word, you can call this as a donut chart. In order to make a donut chart or spirometer chart, we need two series of data. One is spirometer and the second one is pointer. Under spirometer, we need five data points. Start, red, yellow, green, max. For the namesake, I just put it as start, red, yellow. But if you wanted, you can always change the name to some other things. Here, for the start point, the value is zero. That is right here, zero. That's the beginning of this donut chart. And the red portion is 15, right here. This is a red portion, that's 15. The yellow portion is 45. That is right, this portion. And the green portion is 40. That is right here. And the maximum value we can enter is 100. How did you get 100? That is the sum of everything. 0 plus 15 plus 45 plus 40. That is how you got 100. And the second series of data we need is pointer. Right here. This is a pointer we are going to discuss about. Right now the value of this pointer is 50 but you know and if you want it you can always change to 100 you see the spirometer needle has changed to 20 again that is changed to to the left side to 20 and the size of the pointer is 2 but again if you want it you can change it to 1 see the size of the needle has changed to 3 again the size of the needle is changed how did we get the n value the n values little bit we put an equation here that is you put equals 200 minus e2 plus e3 how did you get 200 200 is the addition of all the five different data points 0 plus 15 plus 45 plus 40 plus 100 that is how you got 200 and 200 minus e2 plus e3 what is e2 right here that is the value e2 what is E3? That's a pointer. So again, 200. How did you get 200? Is the addition of everything here. That is 200 minus E2 plus E3. E2 is 20 and E3 is 3. And we got the answer 177. Now I'm going to show you how you can make a donut chart. Insert donut chart from the insert tab. Place the cursor inside the chart and right click and select data. Click add select series name spirometer and values. Click on donut and right click select format data series and from under series options change the angle of first slice to 270 degrees remove the bottom portion of spirometer by no fill under fill from format data series menu change the colors of different segments by selecting each section and changing the color under fill. We have three colors here, red, yellow, and green, and you change the color. Now, right click and choose select data. In the pop-up window, click add select series name pointer and its values. Right click on the chart and select change series chart type. Change the pointer series type to pi. Select the secondary axis under series options and change angle of first slice to 270 degrees. Select no fill for the 23 
and 176 portion of pi. Change the fill to solid fill 4 pointer and change color to black. Select primary axis and change the donut hole size to 35. Delete series. Now right click on needle and select add data label. Change font to bigger size. Select the data point of needle to value cell. And now you could see the values changed to 23. And if you want it, you can always change the values to different numbers and the needle is going to be changed. Hope you understand everything. One more time last time I'm going to read the instructions how you do it and you could see everything is going to be changed. Here we can see the needle is changing. Enter two series of data shown. For the end value, enter the formula bar 200 minus E3 plus E4. Place the mouse on the speedometer cell and insert donut chart from the insert tab. Place the cursor inside the chart and right click and select data. Click add, select series name and values. Click on Donut, right click, select Format Data Series and from under Series option, change the angle of first slice to 270 degrees. Remove the bottom portion of speedometer by no fill under Fill from Format Data Series menu. Change the colors of different segments if needs by selecting each section and changing the color under Fill. Now right click and select Add Data Series in the pop-up window click add select series name pointer and values right click on the chart and select series chart type change the pointer series type to pi select the secondary axis under series option and change angle of first slice to 270 degrees select no fill for the 23 and 176 portions of pi change the fill to solid fill for pointer and change color to black Select primary axis and change the donut hole size to 35. Delete series, right click on needle and select add data label. Change font to bigger size. Set the data point of needle to value cell. Hope you got and understood how to make the donut chart in Excel 2013. But the main practical application is where if you want to make a presentation like you know how much of sales and how much of collection you made it and you can always make a presentation and present it before the people. Once again, thank you for watching Gigi's channel and have a great day.